Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and I'm ready to teach you one of the best voice balloon bracelets you are ever going to see. One week ago, I uploaded my deluxe Fire Breathing Dragon balloon hat, and it was a big hit, as indicated by the amount of views, thumbs up, and of course the wonderful comments which I was very happy to read. This incredibly unique balloon wearable complements its predecessor as a compact version of my detailed dragon head sculpt design. Mounted to the wrist and fearsomely exhaling a cyclone of fire with an aimable trajectory. This is a pure 160 design. Two for the dragon's head, two for the fire, while the aesthetically enhanced 3D eyes are formed from simple scraps. Let's start by speed twisting the head sculpt using two 160s inflated about halfway. I'll be using two different colors so my demonstration will be visually crystal clear. Let's begin at the back of the head with a five finger cylinder twist, just like that, and two rounded off 160 pinch twists. This will help keep the horns in the back of the head in line and keep the shape of the head. You really want to twist the 160 into what I call high traffic areas where you're going to see a lot of twists coming out every which way, especially when held together by two pinch twists. And it's at a right angle. Now mirror it with this balloon. Two balloons with a little bit of a crisscross here, starting with a three finger cylinder twist on one balloon, maybe a little less than three fingers, tied into the other. Really tie that in there too. And when you're tying in, you want to kind of make the air go toward the right and uh, you get a nice uninflated portion to work with as you're twisting it all in there. So turn it down, take the green one, and do the same thing. Very similar to the original head sculpt, only smaller. And the jaw will have a couple different things. Twisting all the way around, back of the head, coming down. The sides of the face are mostly four finger cylinder twists. So make one like that. Match it up on the other side by eyeballing it or by measuring again with your hand. And tie it nice and tight at the base right here. Come back up, another four finger cylinder twist tied in. Again, carefully pulling apart a little bit so that there's a nice uninflated portion. And you come back around, this will make the cheek. Do the same thing on the other side. The cheeks are just slightly smaller than these four fingers, so I'd say maybe about three and a half, and you want them kind of malleable. This portion will be tucked in at the base of the jaw, and that will help really give the head its unique structure. So on the side, really pinch right here. Ooh, twist those nice and tight at that focal point. And uh, you're going to tuck in over here, over here just at the base of the jaw, not at the top, like this, and you'll adjust it as you make the jaw. Let's pull one of these 160s through the head just to make sure that the jaw is nice and secure and it won't go to either side so that you have full control of your head sculpt. The jaw structure is a little more advanced than before. We start off with two eh, approximately four to four and a half finger cylinder twist as long as they're even. It'll work out. One green and one purple. We're going to spin around. Now you should have one that's a little longer than the other. That's the main one we're going to be working with for the rest of the snout and jaw. So take that green and make two small flat pinch twists. These are going to be tucked in at the top of the snout to give it even more personality. And uh, press that off right there. We're coming across the top bridge of the snout with a malleable smaller cylinder twist, maybe about three and a half fingers, and that's going to be tied right into this focal point at the base. Perfect. Okay, let's tuck in those nostrils, one on this side, one on this side. We're actually going to be, let's see, we're going to be tucking in the top part of the snout as well. So, you should have this, and at this point, not too much more. There's uh, three fingers, followed by a pedal twist, about that size, and one more three finger cylinder twist, matching up and making that lower jaw. Okay, looking good. Tie that all in. This might come undone, but that's okay as long as you have it in its basic form. Pop that off. Tie it through. Get the center even. And there you go. To finish the jaw, just put it in place. Make sure that comes back. And actually you're going to displace a lot of air 
have a nice stretchy piece of your purple over here. And just wrap it around so that there's a line in the mouth, separating the right and left side. Pop up the extra, turn that off. Just tie a knot, and you're all set. In one second, I'll get the whole side. This is pushed back. This is nice and straight. And there is your head sculpt. The fire is easy. You simply inflate an orange and yellow 160, link them, and they work in tandem with the dragon's pride rictus, mediated by the uninflated scrap. So we'll bring it at the base of the jaw here. Nice and smooth. We're going to pull it in on either side. And just stick it into the mouth. Yellow on one side, orange on the other. And of course, a tight spiral looks great as a fire cyclone. So, nice tight spiral. It's up to you what length you want. When you get there, and you spin off, it's up, up to you whether you want to make pinch twists or pedal twists. I like it. This balloon animal uses my standard 3D eyes technique. So we have a bubble, a knot, some slack, another knot, and finishing with a bubble. And we're going to be inserting them through this cranial cavity here, pushing through one side. I can show you there. A little tricky, but you push down on the cheek. I'm going to show you this way. This is the eyebrow. Here's the cheek. Push that and push it through. You can adjust the shape from there. So we'll do it on the other side. Push them through. Lift them. Look at him raise his eyebrow. Lift the cheek. And then kind of tuck in the cheeks back how they were before. Here's a little technique I like to use to enhance the eyes on my balloon animals. And I do it by taking a 160 and cutting it into two little pieces. Now what you have here is a knot, there's some air trapped inside, another knot, they look like uh, long little hard candies wrapped up in cellophane. And you make two of these, and the idea is you take the scrappy knotty portion, kind of stick it into the cornea there, okay, arch over, you can make any kind of look that you want, make them look angrier or happier or whatever else, and stick the other portion down in there, the uninflated portion. So it's technically all uninflated, but going without any air at all. And it's knotted on either side to keep that air inside. So it's a cute little technique that can really enhance the facial features of any animal balloon that you choose to do. As a final step, I've taken two more 160s and formed a functional double armband beneath the back and middle of the head. All right, we did it. If you'd like to see over 130 more original balloon lessons, including bracelets, hats, popular characters, animals, weapons, and more, subscribe to the Balloon Sage channel. Please thumb up this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.